Hey y'all, Scotty McCreary here, and this is my CMT Ask Anything chat with my buddy Cody Allen. My new album is called Seasons Change. Thanks to CMT, Cody Allen, and iHeartRadio for having me. Before I get started, I do want to thank Cody Allen because when he first started this six years ago with CMT, I did the very first one, July 30th, 2012. So it's great to be back and do another one. Let's get started. Andrea from Syracuse says, do you remember the first time you saw yourself on CMT? And Andrea, yes I do. I was uh, 17, I guess still, and uh, love you, this big video was out. And uh, it was a cool uh, cool time for me. Uh, you know, I remember growing up watching CMT and all the music videos, and to see my video up there with all my you know, heroes and artists as well was, was pretty sweet, so I do. Judy from Rut Rutland says, what was going through your mind when you sung five more minutes at the Grand Ole Opry and received a standing ovation. I watch that video all the time and wish we could have seen the standing O. I'm so proud of you. So well, thank you, Judy, first off. Uh, and it was a, uh, that was a special night. Uh, I could definitely feel the energy in the room. Um, it was an emotional night. I, I felt my granddaddy was there with us, uh, supporting us and watching over us. And um, it, it was really uh, pretty, pretty awesome. So. For me, uh, I was moved myself singing, but then whenever the whole crowd stood up and it seemed like a two minute long standing ovation, um, that's probably my coolest opera moment, if not one of the coolest moments of my career yet. So, a special, special night. Erica from Chicago, she says, describe your dreams coming true and all the things you've done so far this past year in one word. Uh, well, uh, my dreams coming true is all thanks to y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all being with me from day one. It's been an awesome seven years and uh, my dreams are still coming true every day. So I appreciate y'all. And in the last year, if I could describe it in one word, I would say wild. Because we have not stopped. We have gone full steam ahead, put out new music, have a new album coming out, getting married. So it's been, it's been a wild year. Deb from Cincinnati. She says, number one, who and what got you through your professional difficulties in 2016? Uh, number two, now that you've experienced both, which label environment is better for artists as a general rule? A big label or an indie? That's a good question. Professionally, what are your goals for the remainder of 2018 uh, and 19 and beyond? Well, great questions. Um, for number one, who got me through the professional difficulties? Uh, well, number one, you know, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because I was praying every day. It was a, uh, that, that was a tough, tough time, you know, getting dropped and having to figure out, you know, where we're going to keep going and how to pick up the pieces. So um, he's number one. But then my family and friends were just so cool to me. Uh, they knew that I was struggling. I'm not in my best mood pretty much the whole year, but they were, they were there for me. And uh, whether I was up or, in, you know, down in a bad mood, they were, they were always there for me. So a lot of love for them. Uh, number two, now that you've experienced both a big label or indie for uh, the artist, and I'd say it really depends on the artist. Uh, I got a lot of love for my last label, and they did a lot of awesome things for me. So um, between them uh, and my new label, Triple Tigers, uh, we've been able to accomplish a lot. I, I have got my first number one, Triple Tigers, so I, I am extremely fired up to be with them and that whole team. They are doing wonders for, for me and uh, just the music right now. So. I'm loving that personally, but uh, I'd, I'd say it just depends on the artist and the situation. Uh, and number three, uh, what are the goals for the remainder of 2018 and 19? Uh, for, I, honestly, I want to keep on rolling. You know, I've, I've tasted and the top of the mountain now, five more minutes going to number one, and I want to, you know, you always got to start back at the bottom for the new single, but I want to climb it again and, and see how many times we can climb it, because I, I really, that, that was a fun, fun time with that. And, I just want to keep putting out music on a consistent basis and, and tour and uh, just get to see y'all on the road. So it's, uh, we're, we're off to a good start. It's been a fun start of the year. Gail from Fairhaven, she says, I noticed you have start, started wearing a wristwatch. Was that a gift from Gabi, your beautiful fiance? Uh, yes, she is beautiful and it was a gift. She got that for me for Christmas. I've been talking about it for a while and um, it was a great gift. So I do wear that a lot nowadays. Darla from Kansas City says, how pimped out is your tour bus? Uh, for, for my tour bus, for what we've had before, it's pretty pimped out, but I've seen other artists that have, you know, pulled out all the stops in their tour buses and have it looking like a cabin in the mountains or 
most modern looking thing too. So for me, it's it's my coolest bus I've had yet. I think we have the only 50 inch HD TV in the whole Hemphill fleet. Uh, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. So for me, it's pretty cool, but uh, I've seen some other ones that are, that are pretty awesome. Carol from uh, Limerick says, when will you know the celebrity, when the Celebrity Family Feud episode will be aired? Uh, not sure when we'll get an exact date. I know it's going to be sometime this summer, but I, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing that. I think y'all will like it too. Vera from Dover says, hi, Scotty. Hey, Vera. Are you excited to mentor on American Idol this season? Uh, and yes, I am. We've already gone up to LA and, uh, and met with the contestant and, and mentored him. And um, It's an awesome, awesome experience for me to be able to do that and share some of the the things that I learned and some of my tricks to trade that I picked up when I was out there on Idol and um, just try to help them any way I can. You know, uh, I have definitely some insight into what it takes to uh, to make it on that show. So I was happy to happy to share and, and uh, it was really, really sweet. I think the contestant I mentored has a good head on the shoulders and has a good chance. Karen from West Palm says, what boy band songs could you sing best? Wow, uh, not too many times have I really tried to sing too many boy band songs, but um, I'd probably say, you know, and Secret Backstreet Boys are the ones that were around when I was when I was growing up. So I could, I guess, I could probably sing their songs. All right, we'll see. Rhonda from Indianapolis, what's your go-to food on the tour bus? Uh, the go-to is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That I think that's the whole band's go-to. It's just easy to make and convenient. Always tastes good. Uh, and for me, the reduced fat cheeses. They are the bombs, so love those things. Olivia from Baltimore says, what's one song you sing in the shower but never would sing in public? Uh, you know, I really don't know. Um, I, I really have no shame singing anything, so uh, I, I sing a lot of stuff. I, I sing a lot of Jackson 5 in, in the shower, honestly, ABCs and I Want You Back. That, I, that to me is, is a shower song I go to often, but I'd sing that in public, so yeah. Tana from Westport says, the tour bus pulls up to 7-Eleven. What five things are you buying when you go inside? Uh, well, I normally sleep through the gas station stops, but if I, uh, if I am up and hungry, um, my old gas station stops when I was younger, I always get Beagles and Pop-Tarts. Those are my two things I'd get. Um, I'd probably get, uh, you know, Coke or Pepsi, something like that, you know, a little soda to go along, along the road. Um, little Debbie, those are always great, uh, you know, at the gas station, you can always count on those. And uh, what was one more? Oh, maybe instead of a Coke, I would get a little Coke Frosty. You know, they had Frosty machines in there, so that, that would be, be pretty sweet. Courtney from Grantville says, any plans on coming back to Biloxi at the Beau Rivage for the sixth year in a row? Uh, I think there's talks. I don't know of any, uh, I can't confirm anything. So I haven't uh, seen anything come through the emails, but I know they've been talking, so we shall see. Jordan from Fort Worth says, how much time does it take to get your hair ready for appearances? Uh, if it takes me more than two minutes, then you know I, I'm, I'm having a, a rough time. So I don't wanna just spread the, Spread the paste around and throw it in there. I'm, I'm normally pretty set, so I don't I don't take too much time to get ready. Chris from Kiss Me says, "Does the business side of the music industry ever get you down at times? I know you love and enjoy writing and performing, but I also know the business side can be brutal at times. Yeah, it's a doggy dog world. You know, it's it's business, so uh, you got to realize that. It's uh, Justin Bernard. He he had a great line today when I was talking to him he said it's not music friendship it's, it's music business so you just got to realize that and I've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows so you just got to take them in stride and, and carry on so it's uh, it's all good Ashley from Dansville says hi Scotty McCreary what is yours and Gabby's most favorite sweet treat slash dessert and where is the most favorite place you and Gabby like to go in Garner North Carolina uh, well, Gabi's favorite place and my favorite place probably as well would be Good Berries Frozen Custard. That's that's our go-to back home. She is a sucker for some mint chocolate chip frozen custard. That that's her thing. So um, that would be the favorite treat and our favorite place to go in Garner, North Carolina. 
Um, we go a lot of places. I would probably say, jeez, uh, I mean, there's not a ton going on in Garner as far as a favorite place to go. Um, she loves going to Y. That's her favorite place. Um, Chili's, I, I guess you can go over there anywhere, but we do go to Chili's a lot, so nothing too crazy. Kitty from Lewisport says, Scotty, are you and Gabi going to make your permanent home, home in Nashville? Uh, there's a chance for sure. She loves Nashville, and I obviously love Nashville, and so she's still working in, in North Carolina right now, and, and so we just kind of have to see how that plays out, but um, we both love Nashville, so we would we'd love to call it home one day for sure. And from Tulsa, fill in the blank. My name is Scotty McCreary, and I have the best fans in country music. Absolutely. Emma from Woodbury, who is your favorite singer or band? Uh, favorite singer would have to be Elvis Presley. No, no big fans of Bucks. That, that's my guy, so love Elvis. Shauna from Detroit, Scotty, when you found out Five More Minutes went number one, how did you react? Uh, I was pretty stoked. It was midnight when I started celebrating. Uh, popped some champagne and sprayed it like I just won the World Series, and uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, and I didn't go to sleep for hours. I think everybody else in the place went to bed, but I, I, I couldn't sleep, so I was, I was up for a while. Allie from Vacaville, AKA Ville, what do you want fans to get out of this album? I really just wanted to get to know me. You know, it's one of those things where uh, I feel like I wrote every song, and, and it's a very personal record, so hope the fans enjoy uh, getting to know me a lot better uh, and listening to songs that are from my first-hand point of view. So, yeah, hope you all love. Lucy from Ottawa, how did you go about choosing This Is It over the likes of In Between or Home In My Mind? Uh, you know, for me, I, I, I got love for all these songs on the record. I wrote them all, and they're all like, you know, my kids. It, it's tough choosing one over the other. Um, but you know, this is it. It seemed like where I was at in life, and I love, um, you know, being personal with y'all and, and kind of giving y'all insight into what's going on in my world. So, uh, with me getting married this year, uh, you know, I feel like it was just the right time to, to sing about it. So, hope y'all, hope y'all enjoy. Well, I think that was our last question. Uh, appreciate y'all and all your questions. Thank you to CMT, Cody Allen, iHeart. Appreciate you having us again for the. Ask anything. This was fun. We'll do it again soon. Love y'all.